Hi everyone, David Burgess here again with Keller Williams Realty. I hope you're keeping well. Sorry it's been a little while. I am working on some more videos that are a little more time consuming. So today I just wanted to cover two brand new communities that are in Wesley Chapel that are from the same builder, Taylor Morrison, but they do also connect and are side by side and will eventually share the same amenities once the clubhouse and pool have been built. And I have covered these before, but we have a lot more information Information now and the models are open so let's dive on into the video and let's show you exactly what is going on at Rivers Edge and at River Landing. Okay, so where are these two communities in terms of location, first of all? So if you're familiar with Wesley Chapel, the area sits just east of I-75 off of exits 275 and 279. And this one is just on the south side of State Road 56, which is off 275. And that's where the shops at Wiregrass is and the Premium Outlet Mall on the other side of 75. And it's really just seven to eight miles inland it heading east in that direction so you're really just a straight shot from you know the the two big shopping malls there which is shops at wiregrass and uh, the premium outlet mall so it's in a great spot and uh, again you know you have so much going on around you and really it's just east of the heart of wesley chapel now it does sit on the south side of State Road 56 and it looks to make a difference in the school zoning um, for that area because on the other side of that community is GL Homes with at Winding Ridge, another very popular community, but they seem to be zoned for different schools. So the schools that are zoned for River's Edge and River Landing is uh, Zephyr Hills High, Raymond Stewart Middle, and Chester Taylor Elementary. So, if you're, you know, if schools are really important to you, I would definitely check out those ratings there, as they will differ from the Wiregrass schools. And let's just dive on in and start with River Landing first of all, and how these communities differ. So, first of all. River Landing is going to be the bigger community. That is going to have 484 homes, and that is where the amenity center is going to be. And the amenities look awesome. You know, I'm looking at them now. They've got a sports field. They've got uh, they've got a pet park. They've got a huge resort style pool, clubhouse, tennis courts basketball courts, a fitness lawn, tons of parking spaces, and that is going to be shared by both of them. And I don't envisage those to be ready within the next 18 months, to be honest. I mean, the community might say it's going to take a year, but I, I personally think it will take a little bit longer than that. So, you know, that is the, the benefit to getting into a new community is the lower prices, but you won't be able to take advantage of, of the amenities for some time. It's also a natural gas community. Um, which is great and it is for that that is gas for rivers edge and river landing however i am going to touch on some townhouses that are being built within the community as well and they will be electric and won't have gas so let's look at river landing first of all and familiarize ourselves with the floor plans here um, firstly these are going to be on 50 60 and 75 feet wide home sites and they range in size from 2000 square feet to 4800 and we've got 16 floor plans to look through here we have I mean a lot of these you know you'll be familiar with if you've seen my videos on the watergrass community right around the corner and um, the St. Thomas the Antigua the Bonaire um, the Java and the Sunset are new floor plans um, but if you you know if you look carry on going like the St. Croix the Tortola um, Abaco these are very popular homes guys they really really are um, especially the Bimini. The Bimini was so popular at Watergrass. So absolutely has a ton of different options for you. And looking at the prices of these, the base prices are definitely higher than what Watergrass was, uh, but there's such a lack of new home options in Wesley Chapel right now. I absolutely see no issues with these homes selling whatsoever. And, um, and then as we just finish up on... Um, 
on this community at River Landing. I'm just gonna go through the fees with you. It's $180 per month for the HOA, and it, the CDD is gonna range from 1,400 to 2,500, depending on the size of the lot. Um, so it, in contrast to River's Edge, it's quite interesting because the HOA seems lower, but the CDD seems more. So I really don't know how they figure these out. Um, but anyway, yeah, that is River Landing, and we will just now compare it to River's Edge next door. So what homes do we have available in River's Edge then? And looking at the graphic again a moment ago, you can see there's 136 homes in here and they're definitely gonna be on bigger home sites. Um, they're going to be on um, 65 feet wide, 70 feet wide and 75 feet wide home sites. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually not familiar with a lot of these floor plans. Um, the Lincoln I am because they sell that down in the um, Sarasota area. But the DeSoto, the, Z the Zeon, the Acadia, um, Humboldt and Canto, um, I haven't seen these. So they're either brand new floor plans or they've brought them in from a different area. And, um, and the two floor plans that we have here um, on offer is the uh, Acadia and the Humboldt um, in, in River's uh, Edge for you to check out. I was very impressed by both of them actually. They're deceivingly big. Um, started off in the Humboldt, which you can see behind me, um, but yeah, they're very, um, very spacious homes. This one's 3,500 square feet, um, four bed, four bathrooms, um, and it can be a one or a two story home. Um, depending on the options, but it's got a three car garage, which is split as well. And that is gonna be on um, the bigger home sites within River's Edge. So very impressed by that. And then the Acadia, um, the base price of that one is a bit lower and it's actually a bit bigger, but it's a two story home and uh, it's 3,992 square feet four bed, three or four bathrooms and and a half. So you've really got, it could be a four and a half bathroom home, that one. Um, and that can be a two or a three car garage home. So yeah, very, very um, Im impressed by both of these, um, these models. Uh, but again, there are others that you can choose. And outside of these, there are an additional six that you can choose from. And these higher base prices that are within uh, within River's Edge um, has to be said. I mean, they're you know within the six hundred to. 800 range which is very high for a base price of a semi-custom builder the way they're justifying that is by offering um, tiled roofs as standard eight feet doors interior doors are standard and um, and the gourmet kitchen uh, as standard with a double oven and pavers so there are going to be things that you wouldn't need to upgrade with this home however um, yes this home th these homes are easily going to range I would say all in from the 850 range to probably 1.2, 1.3 million um, after the lot and if you add a pool. I think it will be very difficult building in River's Edge for anything less than 850 personally. Um, even looking at the Lincoln and the DeSoto um, with a 600 base price or a 589 base price, I think that's where you're gonna end up. You know, Maybe a little bit less than that, but I would, I would go in with those expectations. Um, and yeah, so just as I finish up with River's Edge, but by the way, both of them are gated communities. I totally forgot to mention that. So they are going to be gated. And River's Edge um, doesn't have any amenities in there, but they do have access to River Landings um, amenities. So, yeah. So, uh, like, and like I said, just going back to the fees, um, the HOA in River's Edge is 217 a month, which is higher than the 180 in River Landing, but the CDD is less. Bigger home sites, but the CDD ranges from 1800 to 2100. So yeah, that is going to be River's Edge. And then as we finish up here, there are gonna to be townhouses. There's gonna to be 250 townhouses um, that are gonna be in the River Landing section just the two floor plans here, the Jasmine and the Marigold, and they are gonna have their own separate amenities. They're gonna have their own pool um, and, and clubhouse there um, with some nice little features. Um, it won't be as big as the river landing one, and this is a non-gas community. So in total, 484 homes at River Landing, 136 at River's Edge, and 250 townhomes. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. Um, some beautiful homes on offer, but I just wanted to bring it to your attention 
mentioned now that the models are open and uh, and you can go and visit those and um, and let me know what's standing out most to you and if I can help in any way. As usual, you know where I am. All of my contact information is below. And I promise you I'll have some more very detailed videos for you shortly. Take care.